dear all namaste in this video i will be discussing on keratosis of turans about its definition etiology clinical pictures and treatment keratosis of turans is defined as keratotic mass of discommated epithelium in bony portion of external artery canal obstructing it we need to understand that wax is produced in the cartilaginous portion of the external artery canal whereas keratotic material develops on the bony portion of the external artery canal it is partly white in color usually wax is blackish to yellowish in color and this is obscured by wax occasionally so it can be seen as blackish or yellowish appearance Common age of appearance of keratosis is around 5 to 20 years, but we have seen patients developing keratosis of turans in elderly age as well. Most of the times, the etiology of keratosis is unknown, but chronic hyperemia may lead to discommission of keratin debris followed by formation of epidermal debris and keratosis of turans. This usually happens when the patient has habit of when the patient has habit of cleaning the ear. repeated with cotton balls or other instruments faulty migration of squamous epithelial cells also may be associated with formation of keratosis of turans instead of coming out the squamous epithelium may go inside towards the bony canal leading to keratosis of turans we should know that the epithelium migrates and comes out from the external canal that means the propagation of the squamous epithelium will be outwards not inwards but when there is faulty migration it may go inwards conditions leading to ciliary dysfunction like bronchiectasis and sinusitis may be associated with keratosis of turans too now let's discuss about clinical features of keratosis of turans occasionally child and sometimes middle aged and elderly patients present with severe pain in the ear with oral fullness of short term duration the symptoms are usually bilateral in children whereas they are unilateral predominantly in the adult population when the patient is diabetic we need to differentiate it from malignant otitis externa the child or the adult person may complain of hearing loss which is usually of conductive type discharge from the ear which is rare occasionally there might be minimal discharge from the ear and tinnitus on examination we can see geometrically patterned keratin plug within the lumen of expanded external artery canal basically the bony canal and it seems like onion skin on inspection you can see the mass here this is like onion skin appearance and this is expanding the external artery canal meaning the bony canal on removal of the debris we can see erosion and abnormal widening of the deep osseous meatus that is deep external artery canal bony canal which can be seen as eburnated bony canal or ballooning of the esc because the external artery canal in the cartilaginous portion will be small and in the bony portion it will be like a balloon expanded so this is ballooning of the external artery canal the cartilaginous canal being of normal caliber whereas bony canal is widened the tympanic membrane is usually intact and patient may rarely have mucopurulent discharge as i had already told patient usually presents with watery discharge if present but there will be excruciating pain in the ear most of the times the investigation is not required because with otoscopy we can diagnose the condition when there is onion skin appearance patient having severe pain and on examination a tight epithelial debris we have to think of keratosis obturans because the term itself tells that this is obturans this is blocked keratin debris the treatment is removal of keratin debris by instrumentation either under local anesthesia or in ga in children and on cooperative patients the patient may have severe pain therefore we may require to operate on local anesthesia i think you should know how to apply local anesthesia in the pinna or in the ear when we completely remove the debris inflammation is to be treated by antibiotics 
painkillers and ear drops for at least one week. Although the term is keratosis obturans, keratolytics are not much helpful because they don't penetrate the bony canal. So they may not be helpful and keratin debris may again accumulate there because the etiology is basically faulty migration of the epithelium. In recurrent cases, canal plastic can be performed, whereas the external decanal is made larger or wider, so the debris can be easily cleaned and there will be ventilation towards the bony external decanal, which is ebonated canal along with ballooning of the external decanal. So the cartilage portion of EAC occasionally to be widened. The patient is to be asked for regular follow-up. The condition is recurrent. As you know, the etiology is faulty migration of the behavior and patients should visit the doctor regularly. Thank you. Thank you very much.